You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Jen, Candy, Connie, Ann, Carla, Virginia, Deborah, Barbara, Janet, Melanie, Tracy, Christine, Kim, Kathy, Gail, Gail, Christy, Deborah, Amber, Terry, Mary Jo, Julie, Linda, Sherry, Mary, Angela, Bella, Pamela, Gayla, Jerry Lynn, Rita, Janet, Lynn, Jolie, Susan, Angela, and Lori. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good morning. Hi, everybody. How many do we have watching? Okay. I am Melody Lane. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Uh, the Cricut Maker is on sale for $2.99 everywhere, but it's only $2.69 if you have Cricut Access. If you don't have Cricut Access, get Cricut Access. You get 10% off everything you buy, so not just the machine, but supplies, the extra blades, absolutely everything, except for to purchase Cricut Access, there's no discount. But there is, if you have Cricut Access, you get 10% off everything. And I have a Cricut code to get 10% off, doesn't work on machines, or anything that plugs in. But that code is joyful, and if you're buying extra supplies and things like that, you can go ahead and add that. And if you're only buying the machine, use the code MAYSHIP to give you free shipping. All right, so I had to say that because it's only until tomorrow. So today's May 30th. It's only until May 31st, 2020. If you're watching next year, you missed it. There might be another sale. I don't know. They don't tell us too far in advance. So we are live on YouTube, live on Twitch and Facebook. We're in my Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. And I'm going to ask you all to come over to YouTube. I'm going to ask you to get into the chat. Every Saturday, I do a giveaway. Sometimes it's a little different. Sometimes I give away a cutie. I haven't done that lately because my assistant's working from home and she's the one that usually packs that up and sends it off. So, but I have cuties. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you, Deborah, for becoming a part, a member of my channel. I also want to talk about, so today's giveaway, I just decided last night. I usually do $15. It comes out of my own pocket. And I thought, since we're having this great sale, I want to give away a Cricut Maker today. You have to be in the chat in order to win. I have to get your information before the sale is over because it's coming out of my pocket. And usually when I'm doing a cutie giveaway or something spectacular, I advertise it everywhere. I didn't tell anyone about this. Well. About five minutes ago, I told Jamie, my admin, who helps me out a lot. So, but that might not happen. I, I We have to do some things first. So we have right now 335 people watching. I want you to share my video. You can share it in all my Facebook groups. You can share it in your own groups that you want to share. Share it on your Facebook. Tell your husband to come watch. Maybe he will win. Um, also I was, I kind of hate giving away big machines. What if you've already bought the machine? You just paid $2.99 for the machine. What are you going to do with two machines? So what I decided is if you win the machine, hold on, I can't, can't produce and do everything at the same time. If you win the machine and you already have a maker, and you don't want another one, you might want to, you can gift it. If you send me an address to somebody, I will order it for and ship it anywhere in Canada or the United States, because that's the only place that Cricut ships. So 
I'm gonna show you how to share the video in case you don't know. So hold on if you don't know, keep watching. All you guys asking how to share. I'm so glad you're asking. Um, okay, so don't worry, I'll, I'll teach you how to share in a second. And, oh, so if you don't want a Cricut Maker, you already have one. If you don't have a Cricut Joy, I'll buy you a Cricut Joy. That's saving me money. So you can choose a Cricut Maker or you can choose a Cricut Joy. I'm not gonna do a Cricut Air 2 because the Cricut Maker is just a better machine. There's no need, if it's free, to choose the Air 2 above the Maker. The Maker's the best. So I'm not buying a Cricut, for, Cricut Explore for anybody. Um, so we have to get, we have 390 in here now. I'm going to say if 600, sometimes I have six to 700 in a class. So we have to get that before we, um, before I'm going to give that away. But let me finish explaining. I want this to be a worldwide thing, but I can't with the maker. They don't ship outside the United States or Canada. So if you are from another place, it will be random and you do have to be in the chat. So if you are from outside uh, the United States or Canada, I will give you $100 cash, PayPal or Amazon or something like that. So even if you are and Nightbot will choose your name, um, I'll give you some cash because I can do that easy without worrying about shipping stuff. Okay, so let me, let me show you first before we're going to learn about writing. And before I even show you how to share, I want to tell you why to share. We have so many people that even just this morning, I got a message. Can you tell me how to, how do you write and fill in the letters? Or they wanted that and they wanted it free. And uh, they didn't know about single line fonts. And they wanted all this information. I said, well, I'm going to teach that in my class today. And I, if you can't wait, I have many videos on how to write and draw. I, I've done this a million times. Um, but today, since there's so many people, I'm going to try to make it from the beginning level. We got 469 now. So we're going to get to 600 really fast. And I so appreciate you guys sharing. Um, but all these people that are asking how to write or they're afraid to write. They've had their machine forever. They even have pens that came in the mystery box or they've even purchased pens because they're so dang pretty. And they've never used them because they're afraid. And I tell them, don't be afraid, just do it. Just stick the pen in. And have it. it's just so incredibly easy. I'm gonna show you how to, the easiest way is to use an image that is just done for you. I'm gonna show you how to find the writing fonts. And I'm gonna show you how to um, write and put your letters together and so many different ways. So if you have questions, please put them in all caps. Also, if you ask questions, don't just look for me to answer them. People are answering in the chat all the time. So um, thank you to everybody who helps people in the chat. The people that are here every week, they already know everything, but sometimes I inspire them with something new. Sometimes I learn something during these classes because of you guys. So I love these live classes. Now, let's go to YouTube, and I'm going to show you how to share. The people who support this channel. Um, sorry, didn't mean to put that on. Forgot to turn that off. Yes, don't be afraid to press all the buttons. Oh, Rosemary says she has so many pens. I've never used them yet. Okay. All right, hold on. I, I challenge you. We have 504 watching now. We only need 100 more. But, you know, if we could get 500 more, if we could get 1,000 people, I will do two drawings, one for the Cricut Explorer and one for $100 cash. I just come up with these things, and then my money goes lower. I'm just very generous today. Um, that's only if we get to 1,000. <laughs> oh, yeah, and give me some thumbs up. We should have at least 500 thumbs up. Um, so let me go to YouTube. That's Design Space. Here's YouTube. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so to share, you're going under YouTube. Look, have you ever licked, licked this? Have you ever licked this button? I have never licked it. I don't suggest licking it, especially nowadays. Uh, please do the thumbs up. There should also be a subscribe button around here too. If you are not a subscriber, um, so click the subscribe button. The subscribe button is completely free to subscribe. You do have to have a Google account, I think, or a YouTube account. It's free to have a YouTube account. You are not required to do videos. No reason not to have a YouTube account. So subscribe. The joining does cost money. You get special emojis. And if you do the $4.99, you also get my projects. But to share, you just click this. And then this comes up. You can click these two. And then just click copy. So now you have that copied. Um, let me go to Facebook real fast. Um, okay, uh, I'm in my group. Okay, I got to bring it over here. Okay, so now if I want to paste, I click that and you can right click and paste it. You could type something if you want, come join. You could say, hey, she's giving away a maker or something, or just say, hey, come learn how to write. Because a lot of people um, try to look up things right when they need to know how to do it. Instead of most of you that are here, let me find design space back. Um, you guys that come every week, you already know how to do everything. You never need to ask questions. Although, you know, if you have a question, don't be afraid to ask. Um, Loretta says, talk about Patreon. I love it. Well, I also have a few announcements this month, too. And uh, Patreon for little is $2. You support my channel and you get all of my Design Space project. And you should always store your pins point down. Um, we're spamming your group. That's all right. Get, you know, I share my videos in my groups and they don't, just don't come. And then, you know, two days later, they're asking how to do something I just taught them. I understand my videos are usually long. Uh, they're usually about an hour. They've been two hours just because we kept going and learning more. I try to pack as much in as possible. Although today I haven't started teaching anything yet. Well, I guess I taught you how to share. Okay. Yes, some people learn every month. I see Nikki says Elon Musk. Did someone ask who that guy is? It's Elon Musk. Okay. Thanks everyone for saying Patreon is awesome. All right, let's, let's start on the writing. How many people do we have in here? Okay, let's go to design space. Um, hold on one second. Okay, I have a few questions. Uh, one is, how is the Maker better than the Explorer Air 2? The Maker does so many more things. It has 10 times the more force and it, cuts so many different materials and engraves and debosses and does so much more. Okay. Hold on, I can't see what. And look at the chat. All right, here we are. So first, what I like to do in my classes is today we're just going to do this quickly. We're going to go to image sets to show you what is new. And so to find the newest image sets, all we have to do is click image set. Now, for some reason, I have been told by everybody, not all theirs are Star Wars first. These are not new. These are older ones. They're my Star Wars ones. I don't know why they're on top. Um, so Amabi, I don't really know what this is. 
Somebody told me it was a Japanese monster. I don't know if it's anime or what that is. So to be honest, I don't know. There's 18 images. This one is Fell India. There's 67 images. Now Fell is a brand I have learned and they do make some really cool stuff. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and they have them for so many countries, tons of countries on India or not on India with the Fell designs. This one is a new one, Musician Line Art. There's 16 images. We're at 599, 603, 607. Uh, we also have flower patch. So there are 25 flower images. I looked at these and these are not 3D flowers. They're just regular flowers. Okay, if we get to a thousand uh, people, I'm gonna do two giveaways. Um, and then we have votes for women. There's 20 images. Graduation t-shirts, there's 15 images. Look, they have class of 2020 with toilet paper. Um, this is the only one I noticed that's for the specific year. All the other ones could be used for any year. And these are all in access. Anytime, if you're new to Cricut, anytime you see this green A, that means it's free in access. Um, so if you don't have access, you're missing out on discount, you're missing out on exclusive sales, and you're missing out on over 100,000 images to use for free. Um, and then Drawn Astrology, we did that last week and this one. Thank you, First Responders Quick Cut Cards. These are amazing, there's 20 of them. So um, if you haven't looked at the new images, do that because they're just amazing they keep coming up every single week all throughout the week they add a few okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go back here so this is what you get usually when you click <laughs> images but for some reason it's going on where i left off maybe that's a new update i don't know but we are just going to go to browse all images. Thank you, Rosa, for subscribing. Now, what I want to show you is how to draw or write. It's really the same thing, drawing and writing. So I'm going to um, show you the easy way to do that. So one way is to click on art type. So you click the little plus and it brings up a list. Now, if you're new to Design Space, you should click on all of these to look at them. See what's in Design Space, click some buttons, see what happens, you won't break it. Um, so we're gonna click on draw only. Now, I'm gonna be honest, thank you for subscribing. Um, it says there's 7,391 images. Thanks, Jennifer. And so there's a whole lot. But I'm going to tell you how you can. You can't just search certain things here. There's tons of things. I'm also going to, like if we want phrases... Thank you, Teresa. You can click that and it'll give you phrases. Now these phrases will cut and write on top of it. Look at these gnomes, gnome of the brave. And then these, when you see color like this, these will cut and draw inside there. And today I am going to show you how to write. We're gonna write something. I don't know what we're writing, but we're gonna write something before we leave. Um, so there's a lot of things here. There's only 260 here. I'm gonna be honest, this is not all of them because I came here before this video and I'm like, where's all those other ones? So I'm gonna show you how to find them. These are mostly the newest ones. I don't think they have, welcome Linda. I don't think they have all the 
older ones in here. So I don't know if they're all tagged. There's 100,000 images they need to do that too. So Linda, you now have access to all my projects. These are fun. Okay, that's not all of them. And most of you know that, you know, what happened to the Anna Griffin ones? All of those. So I'm gonna click off of phrases and now I'm gonna search sentiment. Thank you. There's 308 that are sentiment drawings. Now, these are my favorite. These are by Anna Griffin. These are all in access. And these, these are just awesome. She has a lot like this to put on the inside. You can put them on the inside, the outside. So many things. So thinking of you, this, look how beautiful it is and such nice things. So you don't have to worry about designing your own and making sure all the letters are lined up and all of that. And there's lots of those. So like on this one, it says, look for the little things in life. And it will draw all this. It draws an outline, but then it cuts the outline. And with the drawing, you can always use infusible ink pens and iron it on a shirt also. Oh, this world's best mom. That would be cool. If you welcome Colton, and that would be cool if you did that on infusible ink pens and then you colored it in because you can like just color it in like a coloring book with infusible ink pens. So these, there's, there's so many things that so many people don't really know about. So I wanted to show you that. Um, You know what, let's bring two of these in. I wanna show you, there's one that has different colored pens, this one. Let me click it. You can always click it. Oh, this is fun too, but it just cuts out a square. I wanted to do something more fun. Okay, um, so I'm going to bring in this. Just to write on the inside. Do that one too. So we're bringing all these in. Tracy says, now I have to read this out loud because she's talking to people on Facebook and they can't, see, the people on Facebook cannot see all the chat on YouTube. So Tracy Gambino says, people over on Facebook, come over to YouTube so you have a chance to win a cricket. If I'm using my phone, can I still write and draw? Yes, you can. Grace says, how are we supposed to know this? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Okay. How can we tell a print from a cut image? I'll show you. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I, 
I think I like this one the best, but I'm gonna show you, um, and it's really hard to see. I can't even see what this says here. But if I wanted to change the colors, each of these have two colors. You can tell because they both have draw here. Um, if I wanted to change the colors, I could do that here. So I just changed the colors. I can do that with this too. If I wanna make these just how they are, I can click make it. That one's too big. <laughs> um, and it will cut and draw this. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. I'm not gonna cut it out right now. Thanks for some subscribing. Um, we're going to choose cardstock. So this is what I wanted to show you. It will tell you to load the blue pen in. Now, if you don't have a specific color, they have a lot of the colors of the pens, but they're not all. If you didn't want to use blue and you wanted to use green instead, just load the green pen. The Cricut is not going to know what color you actually put in. So use the one you want. It'll also say additional tools is the black pen. And then once it goes, and I'll show you, we'll, we will do this before we end the video. Um, we will show you um, how to do this and how to change the pens and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. And cancel again. Um, and we're gonna click on this. And I'm also going to show you, you don't just pick the color. You can pick the pen type. Here's the gel pens. Now, it does not list all the gel pens because there's over 30 gel pens. So what you would do, thank you, Kathy Hanusa. I've been with you since the very beginning and I'm still learning new things. Thank you, Melody. I remember that, Kathy. I remember when your grandson, Alex, was born, even before that, actually. And how old is Alex now? Um, so you can you can just put a red pen. You can put whatever color you want as long as you know which pen you are going to use for that. Um, can't see that one. Okay. So that's easy for these types of things. But for the most part, I'm just going to group these together. And we're going to hide them for now. We want to make a card. So here are some things. So to make a card, we're just gonna add a shape. Welcome Shirley, thank you Amy. And we're gonna make the width 8.5 and the height 5.5. .5. That's a regular A2 size card. We don't like gray. Um, to make a card, we hit shapes and also add a score line. I'm also going to add another square. I'm going to move that over here. Score line. We're going to make it 5.5 .5 to match the card. We do not need to worry about where is the middle. Thank you, Shirley. Welcome. And we're going to select the score line and the yellow card. Crazy kitty cat. Thank you. And we're going to select a line and center. Now, in order to keep that score line in the center and on this card, we have to click attach. Okay. And I want to put this on the front of my card. We're going to bring that to the front. We're going to unlock it. That looks about right. We're gonna make this white, okay? So I get this question a lot. How do I write on the inside and outside of my card? Hi, Colin, nice to have you here. Do you guys know who Colin is? He's a movie star. I had him on my channel once. And Colin, you have to email me back 
because we can do some more things together. Um, thank you for the $2 pledge. It didn't have a name. So if we want to write on the inside and outside of a card, we, we can't do both because they will both be on the inside or your card will be backwards or it just won't work. Welcome, Barbara. So you have to add another piece of paper. I like to add the other piece of paper on the front. Now, this still doesn't look like the front if this is the inside, but you just glue this to the front of the card after you get it cut out. So I want, but I'm gonna move this over because we have to attach things. I'm gonna move this to the back just so I can put this on it. So we can size this. I could put this anywhere I want. If you wanna center it, you can align it and do all that. I could put this down here and maybe put an image or something and stick up there. Thank you, man. Now, in order to get this here, if I were to group this, okay, pay attention. If you don't know, I'm doing it wrong. I'm gonna click group and they move together. So it looks like that's gonna write right on that. Let's hit make it, see what happens. I'm telling you guys, if you have not, um, done a lot of things and you don't know how to do things just click make it see what happens look what happened this is not writing on my card do you see my card here it's just by itself with this guy they're not writing on anything thank you fatima thank you connie um so i want to write on the card this card is blank it's not going to write on the card grouping does not do it. I'm gonna ungroup because some people try to help others and they say group and then attach. It's okay, it doesn't matter if you group, but there's no reason to group. So we're gonna select them both and we're going to attach. This attach is like a little paper clip icon. Now, because it's attached, the paper clip broke and says detach. So I have the option to detach. If I wanted to attach something else, so we have this attached, and let's just say I have this, and I wanna put that there. We gotta move it to the front. Make it small enough to fit. I really wouldn't put this here, but. Um, and I select them all again. Now it says attach because there's a new element in here. So I'm gonna click attach. So now this will all write on top of that card. See how that works? Okay, let's cancel. Because I'm gonna show you something else. Now I'm gonna detach. It did not detach everything. It only detached the last thing I attached. See, this is still attached. And we know that if we hit make it, and we see that is still attached. So if I want to detach this, I have to select that and detach that. Now that's detached. Um, so if we want this on the inside, we could do that. If we wanted this card to open the other way, I can hit my shift key on my keyboard, hold it down and click this up. So now this can be here this i hold my shift key down move that that way and just put that wherever you want click attach and then after i cut these out i'm going to glue this to the front of the card so when i save this in design space i save it like this but this really gets put on the other side of the card okay have we learned something yet how many people are watching? Do we have a thousand yet? So I can do two giveaways. Okay. Thank you, Sue. Okay. I think we're good. I don't see any comments yet. Okay. So we got this part done. So I'm gonna group these. And if I wanna move these out of the way or just not have them, I can hide the little eye in the, mat, in the layers panel. They're not gone forever. 
you just click the eye. Everything I'm showing you today can also be done on the mobile app, Android and iOS. They're, the buttons are just in different places, but they're all here. Okay. Now we want to go to fonts. There are some amazing fonts. Um, I'm just going to type hello. Hello. Okay. So to pick a font, first, if we want to do writing and we want it to look kind of like this, where it's not a bubble letter, let me show you the wrong way to do it. Although it's not completely wrong, it's just another choice of how you want your letters to look. And this is what happens when most people want to write. They don't know the way I'm going to show you in a few minutes. So um, what a lot of people know to change this hello, make it bigger so you can see better, to write is they just go up here. So now this is set to cut. And this is somebody asked, how do you know if it's draw? This says draw in the layers panel. I'm over here. And if it was print, it would say print. I think it says print and cut. I'm not sure. I think they changed it and I don't remember. Um, but this says cut. So a lot of people know how to change that from cut. They go to line type. Remember, this is, this is a way, but not the best way. Um, so click draw and now it changes it to that let me take away the line so you can see that better um so this is the problem that people get and they they don't want this look although this is a look that you can choose um so we're just going to change it back to cut now the way to get these single line ones is to go to style Style is right next to font. It's also on the iPad and iPhone and Android. So we're gonna click on regular and we're going to click writing. And did you know you could change it to bold and italic and bold italic? Not every font has this, but a lot of them do. So I'm gonna click on writing. Okay, we have a few questions. Uh, is the rotary tip removable from its housing? No. And somebody's asking if there's a difference between Patreon and YouTube member. Patreon, you can do it for only $2. YouTube, to get my files, it's $4.99. But on YouTube, you also get my emojis and badges. Oh, and Marie has a great question. Why do you use the shift button to turn it? I just use the arrow to turn. Okay, let me answer that. Now, if I were to just use the arrow, now it might be harder to get this perfectly straight. I never get it perfectly straight unless I use the shift key. Now, I'm gonna just hit back to make sure it's, back and straight right okay so i'm gonna hold the shift key down and move it and look how it moves now it stops see how it like clicks into space into the spot it it stays straight it stops at certain angles so that's why i hold the shift key down because i can easily hit it like this without trying to get it um like without the shift key and I want it up and down it's just harder to get it that way and I just clicked off of it let's put it back is that the way it goes okay so that's why I do that and if you want to know what font it is somebody's asking about that thank you Diane um, look in the layers panel this is Cricut Sans. This font is completely free at all times. So this is the Cricut Sans. Now let me show you how to um, go here. And I only want a font that has writing style. Not all fonts have writing style. So I'm going to filter 
after we had the fonts open, so to get here, I clicked on this and then the font option came up and click the little arrow and then you have this and then over to the top right, click filter and do writing. So then I can scroll through these and scroll and scroll for a very long time and make sure they're all, uh, these are all writing fonts. There's tons of them. So if you have access, most of these are free. This Lyrical Letters is not free, but most of them are. Thank you, Teresa. And search fonts, I'm gonna, I'm not sure if this one has a writing font. No, it doesn't. So Craft Room Basics is always a free font too. That's an older one, it does not have writing. So I'm gonna take that away. Now there are some really cool fonts and you cannot tell what they look like in writing by looking at this. Some of them you can, like this perfect day, it looks pretty much like that. And this one is only comes in writing. It does not come in other fonts. So sometimes you just have to pick some favorite fonts. Um, I'm gonna click, I don't know what this one looks like. Thank you, Teresa. So this is the three birds one. And it looks like we need to change the letter spacing. Whoops, wrong way. Because they're too close. And I, I will show you how to move them and stuff together too. Um, but I'm gonna show you some fonts that are really fun. Ellie. And if you have a favorite font that's a writing style that you love, go ahead and put it in the comment there. When writing, how to use different fonts. So I'm telling you to how to choose different fonts. Isn't that an awesome font? So all the capital letters have like one line like this and the small ones just have some little flowers or leaves and you can move the letters together. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna duplicate this. The reason is, is because I'm gonna ungroup it. So I'm gonna show you how to move these together so it looks more cursive. In order to do that, you have options. You can use advance and ungroup to letters. It's really the same thing on this one. The only time I use ungroup to letters is when it has multiple layers. So I'm just gonna click on group. So now I can choose each one and move it. I can do it with my mouse or I can use the arrows on my keyboard. Welcome Rosalinda. Now, these are ungrouped. These I have not touched yet. I'm gonna change the color of these. If I wanted to change the color of these, now because they're ungrouped, I have to change them one letter at a time. Kind of annoying. Thank you. Uh, oh, I got Rosalinda. And thanks for subscribing. Okay, so I'm gonna change the color of this so we can see the difference because I'm going to hit make it. We'll just make this red. No, let's make it green because it'll be pretty and green. Okay, now we're gonna click make it. Now see how the hello, the green one is together and I spent all that work moving these together and they did not stay together whatsoever. The reason that is, is because I did not attach. Now, if I were to group it, let's group it. This one's grouped, right? So it should, see, I can't group it, so it's grouped. That should work, right? It doesn't, you have to attach. Remember, if your, if your mat 
is wrong, you have to attach. Even when you're not writing, if they're just letters, okay? How many people do we have? Do we have a thousand yet? In order to be in the giveaway for the maker, you do have to be in the chat and be chatting. Um, let me make sure Nightbot is in here. Okay, Nightbot's watching your chat. Now I, there I am. Okay. Okay, did we attach that? We didn't. So click attach and then it will write how we want. Although it's not writing on any paper or anything either. So if you want it onto paper or anything, whoops, you have to add it to a shape. You know what, you can add it to an image. It does not have to be, uh, thank you, Elizabeth. And we're gonna take away the draw. We're gonna take away the sentiment. Thank you, Pug Mama. Thank you for all the cricket help, your amazing generosity. You give so much so often. You give us so much of your time and you're always having a giveaway. Thank you. Um, let's just do this. The image doesn't really match that, hello. Uh, let's change the color of this. Let's move this to the back. Now, if I wanted that to write on that, I just have to select them both and attach. And now when I hit make it, always just hit make it to see if it worked. We're gonna click down here. Now it's going to cut all of these out and write on that. Okay, so did we get that? Did we did we learn something else here today? I'm just gonna hide that. Let me um, look at my questions. Uh, question, are you backspacing to group closer? No, I am not backspacing. What I'm doing is I'm hitting the arrows on my keyboard. Let me show you. I can go over here. So when I do that, I'm hitting these arrows right here. You see those arrows? You can hit the up and down arrows too. Um, okay, now I'm gonna show you a few fun fonts. There's cinnamon swirl. Um, I know mustache. You don't even have to type the whole word. This draws in all these lines and makes these thicker and draws a line inside them. Um, DJ Inkers has some fun ones. Uh, DJ Flirt will put a heart and there's lots of heart ones too. This one's fun, makes it kind of 3D. You really just have to look at some of the fonts. Okay, let me. Uh, yeah, that first one that said hello is Ellie Elizabeth. Um, I can't think of some others. Welcome, Natasha. Right, once you move, once you uh, 
ungroup or attach, you can no longer change the font. Um, hold on, let me. I had some fonts here. Um, wait, click the font. Oh, Carly is one. Carly sketch. That's fun. That fills in one side of each letter. So if you have some favorite writing fonts, go ahead and share them, even if you're watching the replay in the description, not in the description, in the comments. Okay. Are we almost ready for the giveaway? Remember to win the maker, you do have to be in the chat. You do have to be in United States or Canada. Welcome Fran, you now have access to my projects. Yes, the chat is so fast. Uh, this font is Carly Sketch. Yes, you can mix fonts. Um, let me duplicate this. So, and I've done that a lot. So what I want to do is ungroup and I can change this. Let's change this one to Ellie. You could do that. See how they're different. Um, you can attach these and they will be just like that. You can do more than one word. Let me duplicate this word. Uh, because I have not ungrouped this one, I can change the text by clicking on it. I'm gonna put hello there and we'll change the font. Yes, I can see you. Somebody just wrote, can you see me? A child's year balloon. Oh, that one's not writing. I forgot to have writing. So if you don't have the option to click writing, it's because you're on a font that does not have writing. I'm kind of glad I did that because <laughs> I've never told you that before. Uh, I also like the awesome font, the alien font is fun. Thank you, Candy. And they're adding new fonts all the time. Thank you, Kelly. Here's one that is more cursive. And this is one that we would want to ungroup and move closer. And then we would want to, uh, whoops. We want to attach. Now that it's attached, I cannot click on it to change it or change the font. Okay, yeah, Bab Bab is a fun one too. All right, shall we um, cut something? And then we'll do the giveaway. Do you want? I only have one piece of paper. <laughs> I have hundreds, thousands of pieces, but I'm just going to delete these. Do you, what do you want to? Oh, you know what? Let's. Let's make this, I'm gonna duplicate this. Make one bigger and make one smaller. So you can see the difference. 
Now this might take a minute to draw, so maybe we'll do the giveaway during that. Um, and then I want to, I don't think we need to do this. This is, I do this on cards all the time. It'll just write on these two separate pieces and then you fold it and put a card in. Uh, if you've never seen a video putting a card together, you've never watched my videos. I have uh, 1,900 public videos on my channel. Okay, we're gonna hide this. I'm gonna bring back one of these. Uh, let's do this one. And it has two pens. Um, we're not going to do this one. So are we good with, I want to show you how these look different because of the drawing in here. Oh, let me show you something else too. Let's go to all images. Let's go to image sets and we're going to search drawn. So all of these are drawn with the pen. These are fun. I've done these with infusible ink and these little pots are not drawn. Those are done with either paper or vinyl or infusible ink sheets. Thank you, Marriott. I made lots of cards with these drawn plants. Those are astrology. Those are labels. They have tons of labels. Emoji animals, drawn people. Drawn children doodles. There are so many. And these that you see like this, they will draw in here, but then cut out the outside. If you want to draw guns. I don't want to draw guns. There's butterflies and all kinds of things. There's, oh, and then these. This is what I wanted to show you. There's a lot more too. You just have to look in design space. Spend time looking around. So all of these will also draw inside and fill in. Isn't that fun? I think it's fun. Okay. Um, I kind of want to do the pineapple, but I'm, let's just do this triangle because I think that will just take a long time. If you want to do the pineapple, you can do the pineapple. Just insert it and do it. But I kind of want to show you this. We're going to duplicate it. So I'm going to make one bigger also. See how they look different? This one looks more filled in. Because the lines, they don't make more lines. It's the same image. It's just more far apart. So what we'll do is we'll do this one and then we'll do this one. And these already are attached to a piece of paper. So we're gonna do all these. Keep chatting it up. Tell me something in the chat that you have learned today. And I'm gonna click make it. Um, I'm gonna move this one to the other paper. We're gonna move them all to one mat. So to move it, if you don't know how to do that, you click the three dots and move object. And then I'm just gonna choose it onto this mat. And we'll just put this here. And then we're gonna move these. So we don't have to do more than one mat. Move object, we're just cutting it all out on cream colored paper. And this last one, we're gonna click move it and move object. To this one and to save room you can like turn things around uh, okay so we have three different colors of pens so you will be able to see we're gonna do medium cardstock so it says load the midnight pin. I, I have a purple one right here. I'm not using black because I don't want to. And then it also says additional tools is the lavender, 0.4, the geode. I think that's the green one. 
No, sour apple is green. Oh, the geode is blue. And the sour apple is green. And these say 0.4. That's just what they're chosen. We don't have to do 0.4 because we can do what we want to do. All right. Now, why do I have the cancel and not the go? Because my machine is saying load the mat. Okay. Let me switch over here. Um, overhead. I don't know why my mats, did they change this? Oh, I forgot to load the pen. So instead of black, we are using extra fine point, point three eggplant. To put the pen in, you just open that. You push this down till you hear the click. On the joy, you don't push it down till you hear it click. And now, hit the go button. And make sure there's not stuff behind your machine like there is mine. Oh no. You know what I just did? I pulled out the plug. <laughs> it's not plugged in anymore. Hold on. Well, I can't even move the mat until it's... This is not where I keep my maker most of the time. I moved it here so you can see it better. Okay, there. Turn it back on. It wrote on my paper. Okay, now we gotta start again because I accidentally unplugged it. So it has to refresh. Select my machine. Um, maker. Yes, it's real life. Okay, so now we're gonna start again. My, I think this must be with a new update. Before you used to hit something here, because I've seen lots of people say, all I can do is cancel. But if you look at my machine, it's ready to load. So that must be the new update. I haven't noticed that. I don't think I've cut anything since my update. So I hit go. I don't think it'll unplug itself anymore. Now I made it blurry. Still blurry. Hold on. I think it's the light on that thing. Yeah, the light was shining on my machine making it blurry. Let me get some more pens. So we're gonna use a glitter gel. This is 0.8, it's the peacock color. Look, it moved that over. And then we will do the bright teal, it's a one point pen.
Okay. Are we ready to win a brand new maker? Yes, you have to experiment more. Elena says she doesn't see chat. You have to see chat. You're typing in chat. Okay, if you're in the United States or uh, Canada, uh, just it doesn't matter what you say as long as you say something in the chat. Um, then you will win a maker. If you're outside the Canada, United States, I will give you $100 cash. And we don't have a thousand people in here, so we're only giving, doing one giveaway. Unless we can get a thousand people before the end of the video. Um, okay. Oh, wrong button. Here we go. We have a winner. Nightbot said who the winner was, I think. Nightbot is in here, right? He chose a winner anyway. Okay. What do you guys see? You're seeing that still. Okay, while that is typing, I'm going to show you who the winner is. So I will need this person. Alexa, can we have a drum roll? Okay. The winner is Barb West. You win a maker. If you have a maker, I'll let you choose a joy. Tell me, I need to know what color you want. And I need you to email me at melodylanedesigns at gmail.com. And I need it today or tomorrow, preferably today, to make sure it's not out of stock. Remember, guys, the Cricut Maker is only $2.99 today and tomorrow. I am so grateful for all of you that you guys are so nice and nobody complains that they didn't win they're just all congratulations and that's what is really important is to be happy for other people when something good happens to them because the the more good feelings you put out for other people the more good things happen to you So don't be jealous or be mad at somebody because they have something better than you. Don't ever compare yourself to somebody else. It's all good. Be grateful for what you have and be grateful for what you want to have. If there's something you really want, all you have to do is feel good about it and be excited. Don't get the happy feelings after you get it. Get the happy feelings before you get it and it will come to you. I promise. I'm telling the truth. I swear it works. Just be grateful and happy for what is coming to you. If there's something you really want, just be excited and that it's gonna just fall in your lap. It really does work. Okay, now the cricket has stopped. It's not done yet. It's telling me to load the geode pin. So I'm going to load the blue glitter pin. It's Peacock. It's one of my favorites. Um, so let's go back over here. Oh, wait, you guys, I thought you were looking at this. So it uh, says tool chain required. So anytime your machine stops, don't unload. Look at design space. So it's telling me to load that. So we're gonna go over to the machine. We're gonna take this one out, put the lid on, 
and put this one in. Push down, close it up, and hit the, this button. So when it's time to change the pin, it will click on this. This one will be blinking. So hit that. And I'm putting this here because this bright spot here is causing it to go blurry. That's right, Miss Justice says, put, pray like you mean it. It's so true. Ooh, I have 497 likes. Can we get 500? <laughs> Erica loves my um, emoji with the donut. I like this one. Can you tell what this one is? It's kind of hard to see. No, I'm not afraid to push the pin in without supporting it. You can support it. Like I used to hold this up and push the pin in, but now it's telling me to change the pen to sour apple. I'm not using sour apple, although I have that pen. What am I using? Oh, I'm gonna use, and these two colors are a lot alike, bright teal. This is a gel pen. Gel pens take a long time to dry. Gel pens you can use for heat embossing. And put the lid on this one. So now this one is coloring in the triangles. Oh, it's telling me to load another pen. Oh, I don't want to do extra fine. Because this is the bigger one. Um, we'll do party pink. Alex is not at the launch. We didn't think the launch was actually going to happen today because it's supposed to rain all day. So it only takes two hours to get there if he wants to go. Yes, you can use fast mode. I probably should have done that, huh? Yay, we got 567 thumbs up. Thank you guys, you're awesome. So now it's going to cut the things that need to be cut. Those hellos are not, I didn't attach them to anything so they're not cutting anything out.
Okay, it looks like we're done. Hold on, let me. So it says unload mat and our unload button is blinking. Now here's a tip if you didn't know, let's pretend we just cut stuff and if we're not sure it cut through or something doesn't look like it cut through because our blade is dull or something, we could just hit this button that is not blinking and it will cut again instead of this one, but we're gonna unload. And this is my working area. I don't usually have my machine right here, it's off to the side. Um, so to get this off the mat, we're gonna do that. So I want you to see the difference in this hello and this one, because it's smaller, it looks like it filled in more. So I wanted to show you that. And remember, these are two different fonts. The H and the LO are two different fonts. And then the difference in how this filled it in when it's smaller and how it filled it in with it larger. And if I didn't want this line on the outside, I could have turned that off and I'll show you how. And then this is... Let me turn the mat over. It's the little things that matter the most. Do you see the glitter gel? The blue is the glitter gel. See how it glitters? Okay, have you learned something today? I'm gonna to teach you one more thing. I lost my chat. There we are. Uh, Wendy, great question. If you hit the button to cut again, would it write over to? Yes, it would. It will write and score and do everything again. Unless you're using the knife blade, the knife blade will just do one more round of cuts. Uh, yeah, if you want to watch my son's channel, Beard Adventures, if he goes to the launch, if it looks like it's going to go, he'll probably go. Um, it's Beard Adventures. Okay, let me show you in Design Space. We're going to click Finish. Well, oh, I was going to show you. See how, let me just make this bigger so you can see it better. See, this outside area is the cut line because it says cut, and you can click on that. You can change the color of that if you want to. Um, but let's say I don't want this outside triangle cut. That is this one right here. I could change the color, or I could just turn that off, and I'm hitting the wrong one. <laughs> it's this one. See? So you can have it just do that, and you can probably see it better if I change this back to white, if you wanted to do that. Okay, did you guys, I hope you learned something. In the comments, when the video's over, the comments underneath, if you guys watch the replay, tell me something you learned today. Share this video and tell somebody, when you share it, tell somebody what you learned. Um, Remember to share the video, you can just click this, copy this and paste it into Facebook or anywhere you want. Here, let's, um, let me go to Facebook. There's Jamie telling me some of the questions. And I learned to write today. Okay, now people are gonna think, uh, you just learned to write today? Didn't you already know how to do that because you're Melody Lane? Yeah. So then you can just hit post. Uh, I'm not going to post that. Because <laughs> people will be like, you just learned today? <laughs> um, only because I've taught this so many times. Thank you, guys. And we need today's winner. 
Barb West to email me at melodylanedesigns at gmail.com. Yay, got an email from Colin. Barb already emailed me. Got it. I'm going to purchase it right after this video. Send it to your house. Congratulations. That makes me feel so good that um, I gave that away. See, you know, I don't just give things away for you guys. I give them away because they feel so good to do something good for everybody. So, you know, do some random act of kindness. Uh, it feels so good. Actually, sometimes I think the giver feels better than the receiver. And it just feels good. And, and you don't have to spend money to do it. You can give somebody a compliment. Um, just, you know, any compliment to make them feel good. What would make you feel good? Even to tell them you appreciate them. You know, people don't hear that enough. And I think just saying, you know, I really appreciate you to somebody can really change their day. It, it really, really can make a big difference. So um, thank you guys. And... I have more giveaways gonna happen this week. Some announcements this week. My Patreon supporters will get the announcement one day ahead of everybody else. Um, and there's just gonna be more giveaways. So make sure you're subscribed, click the bell, share the videos, and I will see you Tuesday. No, tomorrow, I might see you on my son's channel, Beard Adventures. He's making me some weird pancakes to do a taste test. They're weird. So um, thank you everybody who tells everybody else to do the thumbs up too. Happy birthday, Lisa Grinnell on Monday. Thank you, Glenda. Thank you, everybody. You guys are so amazing. Thank you, Jamie. And, um, oh, I didn't answer the question. Do you use different blades for paper and vinyl? I don't, but you should. Your vinyl blade will last so much longer than your paper blade. All right, guys. Bye. Okay, I'm still here. I'm just reading the chat. And thank you, Sue, for all that you do also. Oh, and if you guys want a really good laugh, watch the Thursday Night Live video that I did with my son. If you, it was a pretty long video, but if you go to the end and uh, make sure you use the restroom before you watch the video. That's just a hint. The end was kind of funny. Um, and if you want, did you know that you can share your projects privately with a link on the desktop app? There was an update to the desktop app. No one told me about it. We found it. Me and Jamie found it together. And, uh, so I did a video on that on Wednesday. So if you missed it, make sure you go watch Wednesday's video. Yeah. See, people were laughing and crying in my video for Thursday Night Live. It was fun. It's not a tutorial, let me warn you, not a tutorial. It was fun and crafty. Mine wasn't so crafty. <laughs> it turned out okay, but it was fun. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.